you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a James Bond outfit. Well, to be honest, I've always wanted to be James Bond. In this video, we're going to show you how to utilize the time warp feature. Have you ever tried to speed up or slow down a clip, apply that warp stabilizer to some of that shaky footage, and then Adobe gives you the big middle finger? Well, today we're going to show you a workaround and how you can apply a warp stabilizer to all your speed adjusted clips. Well, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin by opening a sequence and importing our shaky footage into the timeline. We will now navigate to the effects tab and locate the warp stabilizer effect. Dragging this effect onto the clip, we patiently wait for the stabilization process to complete. As a result, the footage becomes smooth and free of unwanted shakes. We encounter a challenge when attempting to reduce the clip's speed while keeping the warp stabilizer activated. Unfortunately, Adobe notifies us that using both features simultaneously is not possible. There is a workaround that will leave your clips both speed adjusted and stabilized. Let's head back into Premiere. In order to resolve this conundrum, we need to deceive Adobe into believing that the clip has no effects applied to it. To achieve this, we right click on the clip and select Nest Sequence, giving it a name like Lexus Highway. Now that the sequence is nested, we right click on the clip once more and access the speed duration option, where we can adjust the clip's speed to our desired value, such as 85%. And there you have it. By following these steps, the clip has been successfully speed adjusted. We've outsmarted Adobe with our secret agent skills. If you enjoyed that video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more video editing tips and tricks. See you next time.